Hey everybody, it's Dustin again with the WebEx Devices team. And today I'm excited to show you a feature that's getting ready to start into EFT. And um, it's basically around web applications or web apps. So as many of you guys know, um, our WebEx uh, devices, the modern devices, the Room Board Desk Series supports Web Engine. And particularly with the Board and Desk Series, uh, we have the capability of adding, adding web apps or web applications that you can launch from your device directly without having to have a laptop or anything connected to it and allows you to navigate that website. So whether it's YouTube or uh, some sort of whiteboarding service like Miro or Bluescape, something like that, um, it allows you to actually launch that and, and um, interact with it directly on the device itself. This is a great feature. The only problem has been that managing this uh, has been more of an IT admin uh, thing that had to happen inside of Control Hub. So what I'm going to show you today is how we're actually going to bring that uh, capability to manage those locally to the users themselves. Now, this is independent and separate from what you can do with uh, from the admin or Control Hub side. So Control Hub can still push down web apps. Admins can still manage those as you as you need and see fit. But this just allows a user to kind of manage or, or add some locally themselves if you uh, want to enable that for them. So let's go ahead and get started and show you how it's going to work. So I have my Desk Pro sitting behind me here, uh, and uh, this has got the new uh, the new theme and the new color, which uh, uh, really new branding, which I really really like. Um, but what I'm going to show you here is uh, I'm just going to go up here to my settings. So I'm touching you know my Desk Pro behind me here. I'm going to go up here, hit my name or the name of the system up at the upper top uh, left there, and go to settings, and then I'm going to scroll down on this until I get to web apps section. So this is the new section right here where it says web apps. So I'm going to hit manage web apps and what you're going to see here is is that I have the ability to just quite simply add a web app. And what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and enter the name for this one and we'll call this one YouTube. And then we'll just put in the URL which will be youtube.com and then you have the ability to show that web app in call. If you don't want to have it available in call, it just won't show up when you're in a call. Uh, the cool thing about this is, is those of you who may or may not know, um, when you have web app in call, if you launch the web app, it actually will share that in call as well. So the uh, cool thing is, is if you do have something that you want to have uh, available and you're in a call, you could click uh, that web app while you're in a call and it'll come up as a presentation source and, and share on that call to everyone on the call. So I have this uh, pretty much done now, and I'm going to go ahead and just hit uh, the checkbox there. And you'll see that I have this configured on this device, YouTube. Uh, I can come back in here and edit, or I can delete it. Let's just go ahead and add one more, um, and we'll just say Cisco. And we'll just do www.cisco.com. And we'll go ahead and add that one as well. So now you see that I have these two uh, web apps that are uh, on the device. So I'm going to back out of this now and back out of my settings, go back to my home screen, and you see now that I have the first web app listed here. And if I slide over, you'll see there is the second one. And of course, if I just click on this, it's going to open it up on my device. And now I have access to that. Uh, I can, you know, do a, a screenshot, do annotation. Um, obviously, I can, uh, you know. Uh, select uh, events, I can click through here because uh, it is clickable uh, and, and, and browse through. I can also I'm gonna exit out of this one here, slide back over, and then I'll bring up the YouTube. And just like that, I have the uh, app that is uh, available and uh, I was able to kind of con control and manage it on the device itself. So this is um, a really nice feature, a really neat feature that um, we're, we're happy to add. And uh, I hope that you guys uh, find some good use out of it. So um, if you have any questions, just comment below. Be sure to subscribe to see some more uh, videos of features that we've got coming out this fall. And uh, we'll see you next time.